And what do you do in your 70s and 80s? You have a winery. You start a winery. It's Inspired Madness. <laughs> it was a bit of a hobby, I suppose, to start with, but it's turned into a business, and a business that I really enjoy. When I think of Solista State Winery, I think of the beautiful surroundings. I like the view of the lake that we have. I like the green trees. I love the mountains. I love the blue sky and white clouds. I fell in love with the land. I thought it was beautiful. We initially didn't have the intention of uh, putting a winery in. It's interesting because it's a really good piece of property for growing grapes. And we're the most northern winery in British Columbia, which probably means North Cheers. America. And that's what creates the crispness, the nice, fresh taste to it. Absolutely fabulous. We have a very, very good winemaker, because a winemaker has to have a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience. And after four years, we've won 32 medals in various competitions. This year, we won a double gold in the All-Canadian Wine Championships. Now that's quite a, an achievement. Everyone likes different wines, and so I let people taste them until they find something that they really like. And so people go out of the tasting room with two or three bottles or more of wine with a nice smile on their face. When they come here, they are very complimentary about the place. They, they, they just are, I think, somewhat astounded how beautiful it really is. And of course, we live here, so we get the benefit of that. They drive up our driveway, which is quite a distance, and past the vineyard, and then they walk through a little wood lot down to the tasting room, and by the time they get there, they, they just are enamored with it. And of course, we have that outdoor patio area for them to sit and have a glass of wine overlooking the lake. If you want a real unique experience, come to our winery. What else can I say? No, no. <laughs>